Welcome to Project Python. This is a series where I, a coding enthusiast, take on several coding challenges to challenge my coding skills and along the way explain my learnings. Each episode focuses on a different problem and that's about it. So without wasting any time, let's get into this episode of Project Python. Before we start with today's video, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been watching the videos and interacting with the content. The support recently has been insane. If you've been enjoying the content so far, I'd request you to please subscribe to the channel. And with that, let's get into today's challenge. Today's challenge is to create a function that can sort the words in a string alphabetically. The input will be a string of words separated by spaces and the output must also be a string of words separated by spaces except that they need to be alphabetically sorted. At the face of it, it seems very simple. A bit too simple. An unsuspecting peasant would simply split the string of words into a list, sort the list alphabetically, and then concatenate that list back into a string and return it as an output. But what they might not realize is that this string can have words that begin with capital letters. What difference does that have? Let me show you. Here we have a list consisting of the words watermelon, orange, grape, and apple. Note that the first letters of watermelon and orange are capital letters. If we were to sort this list, we would expect to see apple, grape, orange, and watermelon in that order. Seems simple enough. But let's see what happens when you actually try to sort this list using Python. What's interesting is that Python gives precedence to words beginning with a capital letter, so that even though watermelon begins with a W and apple begins with an A, just because the W is capital, watermelon is placed before apple in the sorted list. So how do we get around this? There's multiple ways to do this, but the method I chose was to use a dictionary. Before we go ahead and apply this method though, let's figure out what a dictionary is. A dictionary is a collection which is unordered, mutable, and indexed. A dictionary is enclosed by a pair of curly brackets and each element in a dictionary consists of a key and a value pair. Think about the keys in a dictionary as the index numbers for each element in a list. And the values are essentially the elements you would find in a list. Let's try and understand this better through an example. Let's say we have the words apple, grape, orange, and watermelon. In the form of a list, and in that order, apple would have the index number zero, grape would have the index number one, orange would have the index number two, and watermelon would have the index number three. Any element in this list can be accessed using its index number. Let's call this list fruits. If we wrote the statement print list square brackets zero, that would output the word apple because apple is the element in the list with index number zero. In dictionaries, we have what is known as a key. The key can be a string, a float, an integer, and the only condition is that it must be immutable. The keys of a dictionary play a similar role to the index numbers of a list. The advantage of using a dictionary over a list in this case is the fact that we have the ability to set our own key. And we can use the keys to access the corresponding values in the dictionary. So let's take the same list of words, apple, grape, orange, and watermelon, place them as values in the dictionary, and assign the respective keys of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. Now we can access these elements using their keys. So if we were to execute the statement print fruit square bracket 0 0.4, then we would get watermelon on our output. This is because watermelon, the value, has a key of 0 0.4. So how do we use this information to sort our string alphabetically? The logic is simple. We take the words in our string and place them as values in a dictionary, and we set the keys of these values to be the lowercase versions of the values. What do I mean? Well, let's say our string had the words apple, grape, orange, and watermelon with O and W in orange and watermelon capital. All we would do is take these words and place them as the values in a dictionary, and the keys would be the same word, but with all lowercase letters. Now all we need to do is sort the keys and then print the corresponding values. This way we have sorted the list alphabetically and nullified the effect of having capital letters at the start of the word. When we do this, our output would be apple, grape, orange, and watermelon in that order, even though orange and watermelon have their first letters capital. 
So that's the logic, but to execute this, we need to know the syntax of a few more methods. Firstly, we're going to have to split the input string into a list of words. The way we can do that is to use the split method or the split function. The split function, as the name suggests, splits the string every time it encounters the separator. It then makes a list out of these separated parts of the string. The separator is essentially a character that the split method is looking for and every time it finds it, it breaks the string at that point. By default, this is a white space character, but you can specify this if you want to split, for example, by a comma. Here is the syntax of the split method. The next method is the join method. Once we've done the sorting, we now need to output the sorted list as a string. So to do that, we would use the join method. The join method essentially joins the elements in a list with a certain separator. In this case, the separator is the character placed between the elements in the resultant string. Here is the syntax for the join method. Now finally, we need to know how to use the sorted or the sort methods. Beginners can get both of these functions confused. So let me explain to you the difference between the sorted and the sort functions. When you use the sorted function on a list, it returns the sorted version of that list. Whereas when you use the sort method on a list, it simply sorts the list without returning anything. To understand this better, let's take a quick example. Let's say we have the same list of words, apple, orange, grape, and watermelon. If we applied the sorted function to this list and printed the output, we would get a sorted version of the list. However, if we printed the output upon applying the sort method to this list, then we would get no output because as I said, the sort method does not return any information. It simply sorts the list. So if you were to apply the sort method on the list and then print the list, you would get the sorted version of the list. I know this sounds a bit confusing, but if you play with both the functions in Python for a bit, the distinction becomes clear. Now that we have all the things we need to start coding, let's start coding. The first step, as usual, is to define our function. This can be done using the DEF keyword followed by the name of the function, which in this case I'll be calling sort string. This function takes one argument, which is our input string. The first step is to separate the words in our input string. And as we saw earlier, this can be done using the split method. The default separator for the split method is a white space or space character. So in this case, we don't need to change anything. We can simply apply the split method on our input string and store the result in a list called words. Next, we're going to initialize an empty dictionary and call it dictionary. Now all we need to do is loop through our list of words and for each word in this list, create a new element in our dictionary. The way we can do this is to use a for loop. So let's define the for loop and we're going to write for word in words. Now each time this loop runs, we want to create a new element in the dictionary. The way to do this is to write the name of the dictionary and then specify the key in square brackets, followed by an equals to sign and then the value that you want to be assigned to this key. In our case, since we want the key to be the lowercase version of the word and the value to be the word itself, we're going to write the name of our dictionary, which is dictionary, followed by square brackets, and our key is going to be word.lower, followed by an equals to sign and word. When the for loop is complete, our dictionary will have all the words in the input string as values and their lowercase versions as the keys. Now all that's left to do is to sort the words and then join them and output the result as a string. And we're going to do the sorting and the joining in one line of code. As you can see, the separator for our join method is a white space character, meaning that all the elements in the list we want to join will be separated by a white space character or an empty space in the resultant string. Following this in brackets, we're gonna write dictionary square brackets key for key in sorted brackets dictionary. This line of code does many things. The first thing we can identify is the sorted method. We're applying the sorted method on our dictionary. This returns a list of the keys of the dictionary sorted alphabetically. The second thing we can identify is a for loop. The for loop iterates through this list of sorted keys and for each iteration returns the corresponding value for each key in the dictionary. So when you combine all of these things together, what you get is a string of the words in our initial input string 
sorted alphabetically. Now all that's left to do is to test our function on different input strings. As you can see, our function works. And this brings us to the end of today's episode. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe for more such content, and comment below any alternative solutions you may have found to our problem. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Project Python.